A single wish. The sun bursts, ripe mango, and you open your eyes to another day for the tasting of sweet, salty, bitter, sour, savoring, absorbing another day for making, loving, mending, for building wrong, or retreating underground, of becoming more you and transcending even the extraordinary. Another indescribable day. Beautiful. And it's all for you. To nestle in the crooks of new poems. To take flight. Capture a little light and shadow in your pocket. Yours for the peeking. Interior. Until you emerge. Ready to kiss the morning again. some doing we had to practice I needed steps direction and your willingness eased my smile was it over a course of days Mm -mm, a week each day after school your auntie in the pro we in the kitchen smiling but serious ready for the lesson a peck was it nihilators or blow pops? Mm-mm. Apple nihilators, yes. A long peck, lingering lips and green candy smiles. A tickle of sweet and sour. Riffle of felines, damaged, or was it used then? JC Penny jeans for me. Over the murmured scandals of Ricky Lake as we hug, hug and practice unfolding over days. Dedicated study of sighs, lessons, between horn beeps, wrap of rhinestoned fingertips on the wrought iron of my kitchen door, signaling time to go. Kisses still new, tentative, savory and green, taught as school pants in September, squeak, of brand new Nikes, blinding white, bounding on the first real day of Detroit Spring. I've been missing you, Mama. But not the memories of you or the ways you were you for me. But you. Your full throaty laugh and nerdy snort. Your frown. Your foul mouth and excuse my French. Your contradictions. Sadness and euphoria. Rage and peace. Beauty and disbelief, you. Sometimes I see you in the mirror, smiling or focusing on something like a tiny hair. But by the time I realize it's you, the double taken, you're gone. I've been missing.
missing your voice for eight years and hearing your words speak through me for half of that. But what I miss more than any recipe or girlfriend advice, any reveling or the smell of bread is sitting quietly at the foot of your bed, soaking in the eunice of you instead of this endless summoning of the you that's somewhere in me. Whenever I see the round sours in gumball machines, throwback candy counters, cluttered drugstore aisles, instead of passing them up, certain, without sampling, of their unmagic to make my mouth tin again, mama to my right, Hudson's at our backs, rememory on her face of Jack's and Hopscotch. Detroit summers, sleeping six deep on a screen porch, unlocked door, before a crazy comes, penny candy, somebody selling tamales at midnight, thwack of marbles, singe of sour, then sweet suck of goose stuck in back teeth, their cool slick in my palm, our smacking laughter, pink mouth coos over two cute shoes, or furled scrutiny of what pennies calls a sale. Red candy grins, cherry stained fingertips, flipping through a stack of books, nestled while mama chewed cherries somewhere grown and brooding. I cannot pass them up, must always stop must at least sample the cherries. Always already too sweet, knowing that they are unfit. I stop, taste, but never despise what I cannot reach.